。哦，这样。嗯、Good. Perfect. Let's click on my computer. You see, I have a few drives shown in here, C and D. There are two partitions on the hard drive. A is a floppy drive. E and F are the DVD drives. Your computer may look different. Your computer may not have F drive, or your computer may not have F and E drive. But that's okay. You don't need to worry about the difference in here. Now I just plug in the USB flash drive into the computer. Look at the screen. On the right hand side bottom, let's close this first. On the right hand side bottom, you see a little USB icon in here. Usually when a computer detects a USB device, it will show this icon. And you will see one more drive is added in here. It is a G drive on my computer. Again, on your computer, it may be a different drive lighter. Let me double click on G drive. This is my USB flash drive. You see, I have two files already on the drive. They came with the USB flash drive. We can simply ignore them. In this presentation, I will back up the data onto the USB flash drive, which is the G drive. Now we're going to change a setting in Windows XP to show hidden files. By default, Windows XP won't show all files to you. So in order to back up some hidden data files, we have to make them show up first. How to show the hidden files? There are quite a few ways to do it. We're gonna do this in this way. Right click on start and left click on explore. I will close this and try again. So right click on start and click on explore. In this presentation, if I don't say right click, it always means a left click. Now you should notice that Underneath Documents and Settings, a folder is automatically expanded. On my computer, this folder's name is User. On your computer, it may be something different. This automatic expanded folder is your current account profile folder. Most of your data files are contained within this folder. Now we're going to show the hidden files. So we click on Tools on the top and click on Folder Options and then click on View. All right. Make sure you click on Show Hidden Files and Folders. If this item has already been checked, so you can just leave it as is. Otherwise, you have to click here show hidden files and folders. Let's pull down. I usually would like to uncheck this item. Hide extensions for known file types. Actually, I would like to show all extension names. Click on Apply. Click on OK. All right. Now under the user folder, you should see more folders because some of them were hidden from you. Now they're all showing up in front of you. Before we do the backup, we have to close all open programs. Let's close my Internet Explorer and close Outlook and close my computer. Close this one we just opened. 